At the onset of the political term of office nearly five years ago, farmers set five priority demands for boosting agricultural production while making it profitable to the 75% of the population engaged in this activity. Accordingly, each of the political parties competing to capture power had in their manifestos 53% of what the farmers wanted to be addressed. The group is dismayed that not even half of the priorities were achieved. We got 42% of all the issues that were raised were at least being addressed by the current government that is NRM. The claim is that big farmers have benefited the most, leaving out the majority, about 68%, in subsistence farming. The water that was provided was for big commercial farming. Uh, there is um, <clears throat> government has uh, revamped the Doho. And government has put in place the second Mubuku irrigation scheme. Nonetheless, the group is not giving up on making new demands. The next government has six priority areas to focus on, provided they choose to adopt the farmers' manifesto. Among these is harnessing water production, improving access to quality agricultural input, agricultural extension services, research and access to financing. Uh, manifesto have been done in 100 districts of the country and the issues have been generated through the radio programs that we engage with the farmers, through the focused uh, discussions. Engendering the capacity of local artisans is a suggested alternative for enabling small-scale farmers to tap into mechanized agriculture. The tax waiver on farm inputs is regarded as inadequate. If you look at some of these technologies that we're talking about, and you're talking about 68.9 percent of the farmers of this country being uh, subsistence farmers, meaning they largely grow crops for, for home consumption. I don't know how many of those can afford an input even if you removed VAT and it remained at, uh, even if it was 100,000, for example. Political parties looking to take government are set to launch their manifestos, and it remains to be seen how much of the farmers' demands will have been considered. Jackson Onyango. NTV. If we need to put more money, we can put more money.